this is a scary place. Where are we, Uncle Jeff? We're in Satan's asshole. Oh. It's all rusty and filled with sludge and goo. Bad. Does he know? Let's hope not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be in and out like thieves in the night. He'll never know what hit him. Steady now. Gather your nerve. Jump for the first bend, then the next. Alice, you should know by now that animals telling you to jump into holes is always a bad call. <laughs> the Cheshire Cat isn't white. Yeah? That's true. Why you gotta make this a racial thing? <laughs> uh huh. Uh. Let's get some treasure. Mm. We got quite a stock of uh, toothy bits. Yeah. Maybe we I'll move this out pretty soon. Oh, it's our friend Big Teapot! <laughs> oh, it sneezed out a picnic basket. <laughs> Gross. I like this little hole that you get really close to the teapot. It's yeah, I, I've pretty. never been here. Oh, that's cool. I did notice it right now. <laughs> Good work. Yeah. Oh, yeah, time to get Satan Pepper. Yep. Now it turns red. It's even more evil. Now it, it fires like cayenne pepper instead of regular pepper. Hmm. Now the pepper grind is already one level away from maxing out. Oh man. Since the max level is four. That, ooh, that's a chain gun. That's dope. Each, yeah, each level just makes it take slower for, for it to fill up too. Yeah. Now, is, is this a pro strat to level your shoot gun over your uh, your vocal sword? Or is that just your preference? Well, uh, when I checked, I, uh, the, the third level of our vocal blade is, takes more teeth. Oh, okay. That'll do nicely. Oh. Every time I, I get confused, like, what is he shooting? Oh, it's a little goopy. You oh. got me, little goopy. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh. See, we're heating this up, and that'll that'll boil the water, and then we'll be ready to have tea. Yum. <laughs> I love tea. I do the mad hair. <laughs> um, I'm not cyberized enough. Sadly. I wish. Alright, this part's a little bad. <laughs> Just a little bit. Intentionally. Hey, there we go. Now it's all nice and bright. Oh, we can breathe the fresh air. Make it. Yeah. Yeah, once loaded in. <laughs> once, once the, the world, system. the sky loaded in. <laughs> hey, Cheshire Cat, you forgot the sky box. Oh, thanks. Yeah, this is. You're, you spent the entire time inside, and now it's just a little little area around the outside. Which is kind of fun. You, you get to kind of take in the scope of the ridiculous size of the Mad Hatter's domain. Yeah. Which, he's kind of a, like a lord of hell, really. Cause there's a lot of real estate flying in the sky here. Also, it actually feels like you're kind of going somewhere instead of just being in corridors and just like, I could be in relation to anything and to anything at this point. Yeah. Which should put you in kind of just a complacent mindset when it feels like you're just kind of going through pre designed areas, not actually traversing a, a thing. Oh yeah, get some teapot. Mm. Oh. Well, he's just fighting this time. The tops of their heads are flat. Is that just so they can put a tea saucer on there? Oh. Maybe they use a lot of hair product. <laughs> a lot of hair product. 
They want to look like, uh, oh, what's his name? Flat Top from the Dick Tracy comics. Yeah. <laughs> you know, guys, from Dick Tracy? Oh. <laughs> the Hatter should really take better care of his crap. He is an awful homeowner. Well, his home got taken over by yeah, two dudes. I, from the look of him, do you think it was all that much better beforehand? Like, if you ask him, sure. <laughs> Hi, iBots, you are adorable. Nope. Oh, Killer Evan. Getting close to Dormouse. In fact, no, very, very close. Your presence here is unwelcome. We have a mission to complete, and you are an intolerable annoyance. Some like it hot, but no one likes it this hot. <laughs> he said they have a, a mission to complete. What the? Is it to make teapots? Because they're doing a bang up job. Alice doesn't seem interested. No, <laughs> Alice seems too cool for school. Oh, lava? Is that all you got? Jeez. Being from Victorian England, she's all too aware of the dangers of lava. Well, actually, that the, the coming of the Industrial Age is why the <laughs> setting is in the game. Because it like, reflects the coming of the Industrial Age in the real world. Yeah, and the, the kind of ruination that it brought to the common person's surroundings. Also, the domination of Dormice that was freaked across the English countryside. It's too bad, really. The awful name. Yeah, cut him up! I do like that you can just gun those guys down, it doesn't even take much of your heat meter anymore. Yeah, that's important. Oh! Don't make me watch your diarrhea again. That's gross. How does he get him out of his cage with his wheels on it? Oh, well, he has an elevator. Oh, okay. Well then. I wonder how uh, how he handles corners. You uh. <laughs> Could have like it drifts and so Yeah. <laughs> I was really hoping that Dormouse drifting would kill up today and did. It's been a good day. This is really annoying because the the underside of the platform is blocking my shots. So I can't take out the hive. Don't smell our flower, you gross little thing. There we go. Mm. Even the depth of field effect can't stop it. Alright. What's in the hole? One gold tooth? Oh. I was about to be outraged. What is this crap? Hey man, Wonderland has had some pretty bad economical problems lately. <laughs> Everybody said that uh, progress was going to make us all rich. Used to be we had plenty of teeth. Man, don't gloat, Dormouse. That is unbecoming of a gentle mouse of your distinction. Oh no, it's impossible to reach you. <laughs> Unless you walk forward and... ...across my invisible bridge that I installed. It's weird because only Alice can uh, can interact with the magic marker things because the lava just goes right through everything. Yeah, I wonder if that's like her her conscious mind overriding her subconscious mind there, or maybe they were just too lazy to fix it. Man, don't don't be cynical. Oh, lava! Yeah. Oops, more rabbits! Oh, I got them. How 
rude. But during this during this battle, the uh, giant kettle thing with the arms can actually uh, right over you with the lava. Oh, oh. It's kind of really slow, so it, it's not that much. Of a it's it's more of a like psychological damage. You don't want that to happen. <laughs> Ugh. There can't be that much slag in this pot. That's ridiculous. Alice, your subconscious wonder world needs more. No, uh, he's been drinking a lot of water. <laughs> he had some uh, dubious shellfish today. Just remember, everybody, never buy shellfish from a guy in the street. No matter how good a deal it is. Oh, there's a wheel in there. I saw the sign. <laughs> and it opened up my eyes. I saw yeah, the sign. she goes in the keyhole, and then all of a sudden she's at the stage of Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> oh man. Wish it was the price is right. I love that show. A trivial impediment. <laughs> I'll just move along. I'll deal with you later, Alice. You'll never stop our grand plan. <laughs> Could it be? To melt all the metal? Cause you're doing a bang up job. And away we go. This convenient lever does everything. <laughs> That's a good lever. The convenient drop hole leads directly to the hatter hole. Gross. I don't like the hatter hole. I'm sorry I brought it up. Whoop. Oh. <laughs> she kind of caught her face on the rim there. Yeah. It's unfortunate. my work and you're complete, Tatter. Now, what about this damnable train? I feel like a new man, or whatever I am. I feel like an unsprung spring, like an uncorroded gear, like an untarnished bit of metal that sticks in your eye. Answer me, Hatter. I'm suffering, and changes here are a cause, or they're a reflection, or the effect. What's going on? What are the new rules? The law is just, just a whisper away, away home to wonder, wonder who, who knows how to measure rules with a ruler. Cruel rules. Mm. Idiot. I should have left you in bits. Come, the least you can do is help me discover what's going on. Yeah, it is. And that's how we can get into the final area of Chapter 1, The Assemblage. It's where the game segues into the Hulk Ultimate Destruction homage. <laughs> where he plays the Hatter throwing teapots through walls. Oh, man. It's, it's almost time. It's, the train is almost here. Oh, God. Well, we don't want to miss our stop. We are proper ladies, after all. The most obvious pig snout in the game, possibly? Sometimes they're very obvious, yeah. They, they, they hand you some gimmies so you don't feel completely wrong. <laughs> they hand you some gimmies so you don't forget the exist. <laughs> oh no! Why 
Why don't you just stay butterflies and fly across there? Since you obviously have magical butterfly powers. That way. The corruption straight up hurts you. You would think that with her totally kicking rad goth boots, she wouldn't mind. That's some nasty corruption. Or ruin, pardon me. I picked my word, I'm sticking to it. I do notice they are pretty damn generous with the roses. Yeah. These cockpits will be our macadam, our road into assemblage. Courage, Alice, I'll get this door open. <laughs> I love your huge leaps, Hatter. Did he just summon them? It kind of looked like it. Oh, and now the, the game gives you a tutorial on how the clockwork bomb can be useful. And yeah. Mostly just sure. for the diversion. Because look, they're not attacking anymore. They hate rabbits so much. It doesn't seem to actually damage them a whole lot. So maybe. If if the they're really close, you can see like some sparkles come out of them, and I think that means that they get get hit. But no, it doesn't do tremendous amount of damage. But, you know, he's just a little bunny. What do you expect? Oh yeah, that, that puts him into like two shot territory. That's that's, that's acceptable. Without making it overpowered. Well, even Big Man hates puny rabbits. Yeah, he actually does also get distracted by it. Hey, puny funny! Jeez. This is an awkward spot to fight that guy. Usually they give you a nice round arena to fight them. But now that he's the only one left, it doesn't really matter much. When you're all by yourself, you're a chump. You're a nobody. You hear me, Pinwheel? You're fucked. That move, I swear to god, I probably got ground slammed in the hundreds of times. I would always get accepted about hitting with my knife. I can be a little pugilistic in my third person action adventure games. Or bellicose, if you will. Come on, Hatter. All night long. All night. Oh, sneaky lock. Keyhole, whatever. Yeah. I, I totally missed this one. I feel bad. Whoever said there is no book so bad that something good may be found in it never read Martin Farquhar Tupper's proverbial <laughs> philosophy. Sounds like a real ripping yarn. This feels like an earthquake. What's happening? Do I really look like I know? Your judgment must be severely impaired. Awesome. At least he has no qualms about being knocking futs. Yeah. We're almost there. Just Jeez. that last door to open. Ain't no thing. We've already gotten every collectible. Man. How does that make you feel, Jeff? Uh satisfies my OCD natures. <laughs> Finally I can rest. And I have all the doodads. Pay attention to those teeth. Okay. I, huh. Well that's horrible. <laughs> but I I just I just wanna collect you. No, why are you teleporting? <laughs> no That is the cruelest joke. Speaking of OCD things, enjoy that. <laughs> the cruelest game. Yes. 
Then I cooked them all, says Crazy Alice. Dark red blood right over my pretty skirt. I don't, I don't know. I've never been a psychopathic Victorian lady. Hatters for sale. Well, that's convenient. Oh no, he, he summoned more. It kind of looks like he was trying to like force slam you against the grating. Oh, he did the he did the Magneto gravity squeeze. Yeah. <laughs> You are defeated! Gravity squeeze! Are those two quaking? What are they up to? You'll never stop us, silly Hatter and Alice. It's left. You're too the late. The insolence, the arrogance, the execrable table manners. They are destroyers of Wonderland. Defilers, denuders, derangers. Delightful. It's better. Did they actually create that infernal train to destroy Wonderland? What does that matter? They deserve to die. Ah! Put me down. Down this instant, I ought to fight. Enough talk! Battle time, Missy! Abandon false hope! Forget the past! The damage is done! <laughs> Let the madness begin! Resume the folly! Deserve to die, and I'm about to drown in tea in ignorance. 